Hi there, students. Okay, essence, nub, crux, pith, gist, and staple. Okay, these all are talking about an essential part of something, the spirit of it, the very centre of it, yeah? So I think the nub of learning English is to be able to communicate with uh, English-speaking people in English, okay? So, the essence of something, the essence is, I think, it's like a perfume where you distill off all the water and other things and you just have the essence, the uh, core part, the centre part of something. Okay, so, essence. Yeah, the essence of this idea is that uh, it must be done very hot, okay? The nub. So, let's look at nub. Okay, a nub is a little knob. I think the word nub originates from knob. So, a little piece, yeah? But the nub of something, the centre of it. So, I think you have understood the nub of this idea, yeah? Um, could you... Could you explain it again? Because I'm not sure I've got the nub of this, the core idea, the essence. Okay, crux. Well, crux is to do with cross. And I think the idea is the bit that's in the centre of the cross. So the crux, the most important part, the part where everything hinges. So, the crux of the matter is the temperature at which this is done. Like the crucial part, yeah? Okay, pith. Okay, to be pithy is to be, sh to, to be short and concise, to say the things that you need to say, explain them with few words. Okay, when you take an orange and you open it, you have the orange on the outside, and the, the fruit in the centre. And there's this white bit called the pith. Okay, that's what pith is, yeah? Okay, but if something is pithy, then it's short, sharp and concise. So the pith of something, although with the orange it's not the centre, it's the important part. Okay, so I have given an explanation of this, but now we can get down to the pith of it, okay? I think pith is more than crux or nub or essence, yeah? The pith is the business end, if you like, okay? Um, the the, the uh, mm, important, solid part of something, yeah? Whereas essence, I feel, is much more concentrated and nub is much smaller and crux is exactly to the point. Okay, gist. The gist of something. Um, I think gist is how things are laid out, yeah, but if you understand the gist of something, you understand the general idea, yeah? So you probably understand the nub or the essence of it, but the gist is much more general. Maybe you're not an expert in it, yeah? Okay, but you've got an idea of it. Let me explain what happened. Let me give you the gist of what happened. Okay, so I was down, uh, I was walking down the street. Okay, now we get to the pith of it. And two large men came up to me. And now the crux or the nub, one of them hit me. So I called the police. So in essence, I was assaulted. Okay, let's go to the last word, staple. Okay, maybe you know staple as in something that you um, put with paper or you staple a piece of wood. But staple, important, main, one of the things that is always used. So the um, staples of uh, a European diet include much too much meat, uh, a lot of white flour, okay? Um, the staples are the things that you always use. So, in, uh, when you go to school, the staples that you need are pens, pencils and paper. And maybe a stapler and a rubber and a pencil sharpener, yeah? The staples are the things you're always using. So, for, for a photocopier, the staple things you need are paper and probably ink and 
an electric supply. Okay. Um, when I go shopping, uh, when I go to the supermarket, I buy all the staples. Okay, all the staple products, all the things that I always use: rice, pasta, um, potatoes, onions, peppers. Okay, staples, the things that you can you use in your everyday business, your everyday life. Okay. So, I think you've now, I've now finished the pith of this, yeah? And you understand the gist of the difference, yeah? I think you understand the essence of each of these words, yeah? And, yeah, the nub of this is that they're all slightly different, okay? And I think the crux of this idea is to use each word in the right place, the crucial bit, the crux. Anyway, enough. I've talked too much. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Essence, nub, crux, pith, gist, and staple. A staple product. Yeah, so the staple product of my uh, channel is probably the two-minute video.